everyone, so today I'm doing a first impression and this might be one of my most requested videos to date actually. It is to do a first impression on the Born This Way foundation by Too Faced. I have heard the best things about this foundation so I am itching to try it. I've actually got three shades here which I've kind of matched to myself. A couple of them are for fake tan and then I've also got the shade vanilla for when I don't have any fake tan on as well. So I've got a little bit of fake tan on today so I'm going to choose from light beige and natural beige. As always I'm going to start with a primer on one half of my face so we can see if there's any difference between application and longevity of the foundation. And for reference, if you're new here, hi, welcome, make sure you subscribe. My skin type is normal to slightly dehydrated. At the moment it's feeling a little bit dehydrated but not too bad. So I'm just going to take this primer on this half of my face. I need to redo my tan. It's kind of cracking off at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to swatch both of these shades, light beige and natural beige. I might actually do a mixture of the two. So the foundation is super easy to blend on both sides. I do feel like this is a little bit orange. And it's super flawless. I used half a pump of both shades and I haven't even used all of it. As you can see, there's a ton on the back of my hand and my face is basically like flawless already. I'm going to layer up a little bit more on my cheeks just because I could do with a little bit extra coverage. You know me, I often like to go for a nice full coverage. The formula is super buildable and it isn't setting really quickly either. I feel like you have quite a long time to kind of buff it out before it really sticks down. Both sides apply the same, like the exact same. And on both sides of my face, you can't see any pores, you can't see any lines. First impression, I honestly think this is probably one of the most flawless foundations I've ever used. Without any powder, without any concealer, it's covered like all of these like marks I had on my chin. It just looks airbrushed and amazing like it looks so good okay so next i'm going to use some concealer and powder i'm going to do it off camera because you guys know what concealer and powder is for i'm just going to use the urban decay naked skin conceal under my eyes and then i'm going to use max studio fix powder just a little bit to set my foundation just before i use my powder i just want to let you know that it's set to a really nice finish it does transfer though it doesn't feel sticky but yeah it does come off on my fingers if you can see so the finish of this foundation, I forgot to say just before, I feel like it was quite a matte kind of finish. It wasn't drying looking or like really flat looking though, I feel like it was kind of like a velvet matte kind of finish. You get 30ml in this, which I think is good, like that's just standard. The packaging is adorable, I love the gold and black. And then it's got the frosted glass bottle, it's super classy and it's also not too heavy, so good for travel as well. Like it's definitely not the lightest thing in the world, but you know how usually like glass packaging is super heavy? This one isn't. So here's what they say. They say it's coverage so natural they'll think you were born this way. Undetectable medium to full coverage foundation. 100% definitely medium to full coverage. It's flawless. It covered up all of my imperfections. The foundation is oil free. Available in 12 shades. Let's do a quick flash test. It doesn't say it has any SPF in it just by the way. It looks super flawless in photos, there's no flashback, which there shouldn't be if there's no SPF. The time is now 9.30am, so I'll come back in a few hours and update you with how it's looking. Hey guys, just an update. It is now 12 o'clock, so it's been two and a half hours. Obviously not much should change in this amount of time, you would hope. But I wanted to come back and just update you. Um, all of my makeup on top of the foundation applied beautifully. Everything blended on flawlessly on top. Um, at this stage there has been no change, there's been no fading, there has been no creasing, there has been... Oh, where did my lighting go? It is so windy outside, the clouds are like... <sighs> in and out of the sun. Anyway, there's been no foundation like sinking into any of my pores. Honestly, it's looking amazing. So I'll come back in a few more hours and we can see how it looks over a longer period of time. Hey guys, sorry about the weird lighting. It is three o'clock now and the sun is like right in front of my eyeballs. So I've got my blinds down and my light on. Hopefully you can still see the foundation well. It's still looking really good. It hasn't changed at all. It's kind of faded around my mouth because I've been wiping off my lipstick. Like when I ate, I wiped off my lipstick and I wasn't careful and it did wipe off semi-easily. But I guess most foundations are going to wipe off when you take a tissue to your face, aren't they? It is starting to 
ever so slightly melt around my nostrils. I don't know why my foundation does that sometimes, it's really strange. But yeah, it's kind of like liquefying around the edges of my nose. Other than that, it looks great, it hasn't faded, it hasn't gone cakey, it hasn't sunk into pores. It looks good. So you will see me again in a few more hours and we will do another update. <laughs> the time is now just gone 7 o'clock. So it's been on for over 9 hours. I think that is a great amount of time. I am actually going to wash my face after this. I'm very tired tonight. Usually I'd wait until like 8, 8.30 before I do my final little update. But yeah, I'm so tired. It looks just as good as it did in the last update. The only thing that I'm not happy about, which isn't major and I know why it's happened, is it's kind of worn off around the top of my forehead just here and that's because I've been tying up my hair, letting it down, tying up my hair, letting it down, being like touching my face so it's kind of wiped off where I've touched. So keep that in mind if you're a big face toucher, it does kind of transfer off. Other than that, it hasn't faded, it hasn't gone cakey. Even on my nose where I've like blown my nose a lot, it's still slightly there, it has faded a little bit but that's gonna happen. Apart from the nose, it hasn't faded anywhere. It hasn't sunk into any of my pores or fine lines. It hasn't stuck to any areas of my face. It's just amazing. I was nervous to do this video because usually when all of these YouTubers love the same thing, I'm always like, oh, it's probably just like, I don't even know, like hyped up for nothing. I always just assume it's not gonna work for me when it works for everybody else, but ugh. I'm so happy with this foundation. I truly love it. This video is not sponsored at all. So yeah, if you've tried this foundation, let me know what you thought of it down below. Also make sure you let everyone know what your skin type is, just so everyone can kind of compare to your skin type and see if it's gonna work for them or if it's not gonna work for them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Up. Feel free to share it on Twitter and Facebook. I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Sophisticated things. Personally when I smell this I smell citrus like I smell lemon and orange and then I also smell like a little bit of vanilla and then quite a lot of floral like rose or something. It's quite floral. It's so different from what I used to wear. I used to only ever wear like sweet smells but this is just really classy and sophisticated. Next up, this one is relatively new to my collection and I know it's so popular right